Hey there, fellow explorers. In this video, we're diving deep into the world of dobotamine and its life-saving uses in the intensive care unit. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming medical marvels. Now, let's jump right into it. So, what exactly is dobotamine? Well, it's a synthetic catecholamine that primarily acts on the heart. It's often used in the ICU for patients with heart conditions or cardiac insufficiency. Let's take a closer look at how it works. Dobotamine is a sympathetic medication, meaning it mimics the effects of the sympathetic nervous system, also known as the fight or flight system. Dobotamine specifically stimulates beta-1 adrenergic receptors in the heart. These receptors are primarily located in cardiac muscle cells. When dobotamine binds to these receptors, it triggers a series of events. As a result, the heart muscle cells contract more forcefully and more frequently. This increased contractility leads to an increase in stroke volume, which is the amount of blood pumped by the heart with each beat. This, in turn, enhances cardiac output, the volume of blood the heart pumps per minute. And in the context of the ICU, this is a crucial factor in maintaining adequate blood flow to vital organs. Now, let's talk about the real heroics of dobotamine in the ICU. 1. It helps increase cardiac output and perfusion to vital organs. Next, in cases of severe septic shock, where blood pressure plummets due to systemic infection, dobotamine can be a game changer by increasing heart function and blood flow, helping to stabilize the patient. Number 3. Post-cardiac surgery. It's frequently administered to help the heart recover and stabilize after undergoing complex procedures. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty details. Dobotamine is typically administered as an IV infusion. The dosage can vary, but a common starting dose is around 2 to 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute, which can be adjusted based on the patient's response. Pharmacokinetics-wise, dobotamine has a short half-life, usually less than 2 minutes. This means it acts fast but requires continuous infusion to maintain its effects. Monitoring is key when using dobotamine in the ICU. ICU teams keep a close eye on heart rate, blood pressure, and ECG patterns. We want to ensure that the heart is responding appropriately and that the patient's condition is improving. Like any powerful medication, dobotamine isn't without its risks. Possible side effects include tachycardia, an excessively high heart rate, arrhythmias, abnormal heart rhythms, and increased myocardial oxygen demand, which can be problematic in patients with coronary artery disease. It's crucial that dobotamine is administered under strict medical supervision. So, there you have it, the incredible world of dobotamine and its life-saving applications in ICU. Remember, this medication is a critical tool in the hands of skilled healthcare professionals, and its use should never be taken lightly. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone you think might benefit from this knowledge. And as always, if you have any questions or would like to see more content on a specific medical topic, leave your suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for joining us today, and stay curious, stay safe, and stay subscribed for more fascinating medical insights. Until next time, signing off.